Hi, my loves. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa, Vani for short. And on this channel, I'm documenting my Amazon journey, sharing my tips, tricks, and lessons I've learned along the way. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Keepa. If you're unsure what Keepa is, it is a program that you can analyze all types of products. I want to show you guys how to read the chart because the chart can be a little confusing, a little overwhelming, but I want to make it as simple as possible. I use Keepa for my own product research. It is about $19 a month, um, so it's very inexpensive and very useful. If you're interested in using Keepa for your business, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can sign up. So I wanna give you guys just a quick overview. This is what Keepa looks like when you sign up. There is also a Google extension, so when you go into Amazon, it will pop up on the bottom, and I'm gonna show you guys that as well. These are product finders. This is something that I want to go in depth with with you guys, but not today. Today's video is just reading the charts. So I went into Amazon and just searched a toy and this one came up. I see that they're selling it for $129, which is a lot, <laughs> but you know, it's something that I might be interested in selling. So if you scroll down, this is going to be your Keepa charts. It looks a lot, <laughs> very overwhelming. So I wanna break it down for you so you guys can understand. So I'm gonna uncheck all these boxes. First one that we see here is the sales rank. So this is the BSR. So this is how well the item sells. And you could see it, as of today, it's at 24,000, which is pretty good. Now, if you notice, this is going to be out of the last three months. If you go down here you can see that the ranges they have it as a week a month three months year and since it's been on amazon but we're just going to keep it at three months to, for this video so you can see basically pretty much you know it was selling a lot november time because i'm pretty sure christmas people want to get you know ahead of the game and it went up so you see, this is the BSR for this product. It's still selling very well. Then it dropped massively to 15,000, which is still a good item to sell. Even today, it's still a very good item. So that's the sales rank. Next, we can skip that. We wanna see if Amazon is selling on here. I don't like to sell any items that Amazon is on because Amazon usually has the buy box. I'm going to show you guys that after. So here, Amazon was selling it from November 23rd around this time, and then they sold out. So Amazon stopped selling for about a, a month. They came back on the listing, and then they sold out for a few days, and they came back on the listing. So right now, Amazon is on this listing. So if we click on Buy Box, then you can see that Amazon does not have the buy box. Sometimes Amazon shares the buy box. The majority of the time, they have the, the buy box. <laughs> so for in this case, Amazon does not have the buy box. It's a, an FBA seller, and they're selling it at 129. Amazon has it at 104, so they're being nice this time. This is people that are selling their item new. So they're selling it at 104. The rest of these are, if you want to know if they're third-party FBA sellers or third-party FBM sellers, you can see what they're selling it for. But the main ones that you really want to look at are the sales rank, buy box, and Amazon, if they have it on there. If you're a used Amazon seller and you're selling used items, then you can go ahead and click on the used section and see what that comes up. With. but for me my personal what I've been using and I want to show you guys what I've been doing I just use the sales rank buy box and Amazon now you can check down here to see oh that was already there this is ranking 24,000 in the game in the toy and games category so it's still very well if you want to see their ratings they're at a 4.7 rating, so that's awesome. Their review count, they have a thousand. Their new offer count, this is another one that I like to look at because I don't like to sell anything that's over maybe 18 offers because then that gets very competitive when it's more people on the listing. So this one has 16, so that's not that bad. 
it's gone up and down throughout the time but right now it's at 16 you know not that bad let me just show you one more example on what i look at so i go here sales rank i see that these containers are at 217 that's awesome they're selling the buy box it is an fba seller let me check it's been pretty much an fba seller now i don't see that amazon is on this listing so that brings me to i want to scroll down to the new offer count because if it is a private label product that means that there should be only one seller on there and that is that person is the only person that can sell this product. And if I try to sell this, I can get an IP complaint. And I don't want that on my account because that can bring down my health for my account. So we check here and no, there's four sellers on here. So I'm, I am able to sell this. The ratings have been great. The reviews have been going up, but I see that Amazon has not been on this listing. This is a perfect item that I can probably look into. Uh, to try to buy if I find it somewhere else for way cheaper and resell it on Amazon. Let's check the used offers. There's only one. There's a few. There's not really. It's more the new. Now, if you look at where it says price history, track product, data, earn money, I want to show you a little trick. So this is going to give you all the information for the product that we're in. Now, if you want to see who has the buy box, this is buy box statistics. So it's going to show you 56% of the time, Amazon has had the buy box, but they have zero in stock right now. 36% of the time, this person, Bow Toys and Gifts, had it, and they have 135 in stock. So, and this has eight. So it's showing you who usually has the buy box. So if you feel like you want to go ahead and sell this item, then you can, but you want to see if it's even worth it, if they're even sharing the buy box. If they're not sharing the buy box, if Amazon has that buy box 99% of the time, or this Bow Toys has it 99% of the time, it really makes no sense to even go on there because it's going to be hard for you to get that sale. You'll have, you might have that product in your Amazon store, for quite some time that's another way to do product research so you're not just spending money and wasting time there is more to keepa than just that part but i just wanted to give you the basics so when you do buy the program you know exactly how to read it and how simple it is to do product research hopefully this video was simple enough for you guys to follow along but if you are a little confused about things please leave a comment below and i would definitely answer you I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified when i upload something and as always i will see you guys soon bye my loves